everybody. She's not dead, but she is now a lesbian. Here's Lucy Lai <laughs> Hide the chips, Lucy Lai Lauren's here. <laughs> Doga! <laughs> I could have spent like the whole episode like this. Toby, now's not the time. Need to fill everybody in with what's happening. <laughs> um, hey guys, me again. Welcome back to another weekly vlog. I've got dog hair in my mouth. Um, it's been a long time. It's been two weeks since I vlogged. Sorry, I just disappeared without warning. Um, I suppose I need to fill you in a little bit. So, uh, the first week I had a real sort of dip in my mental health um, and it just sort of went really low again. Felt like I was right back at the beginning. It was awful. It was quite scary actually. It just sort of came out of nowhere. Um, and yeah, I had to rely on Lucy and Chris again and it was tough. So uh, I went back to the doctors and they've increased my medication uh, and now I'm starting to feel okay again. Well, <laughs> I was I was starting to feel okay again. It just it needed my medication just needed a bit of an adjustment. Um, so we've gone up by ten milligrams, and it that was all it needed. So um, thank goodness we've sorted that. However, <laughs> um, last week Chris uh, broke up with me. He left, and I've just obviously been. A bit of a mess since then again so it's been a bit of a roller coaster the last fortnight really um it's, it was a shock uh we've been going out for seven months now and we've been through a lot you know broken backs water infections mental health problems it's been tough and he's been there through all of it and he's been incredible through all of it um so it was just a bit of a shock as to why he would leave when things started to get better rather than when they were hard. Um, anyway, he just said that he doesn't think that we're meant to be together. Um, and that's that. I haven't seen him since. He did it over the phone um, about a week ago. Less than a week ago, actually. Um, so yeah, we've got to see each other at some point to swap stuff. I've got stuff at his house, he's got stuff here, and we've got keys, uh, which I'm not looking forward to. Well, I am looking forward to because I miss him, but I'm really not looking forward to saying goodbye. Uh, it's really, it's really shit. I love, I love him, and um, we've been through so much, and I just, he makes me so happy, so. Yeah, he's not a bad guy, not at all. I don't have any ill feelings. I'm just a little bit confused. <laughs> so, um, yeah, it is what it is. So I'd rather not talk about it. We'll just carry on. Here we are again, single Pringle. I mean, when I see him, maybe he'll change his mind. He won't change his mind. <laughs> um, yeah, single again. So, Lisa got the dog this time. <laughs> On a good news note, I can finally tell you um, what my exciting phone call was. So, Bumble, the social and dating app, have asked me to be their queen bee for Birmingham, which means I'm going to be organising two events per month, which are completely free to attend, as a way for people to come along and make new friends or find a new partner but most of them will probably be sort of yeah friendship ones um and it's things like afternoon tea cocktail making classes trampolining bowling nights all those kind of things um in birmingham so if you are in birmingham or around birmingham and you'd like to come along to a free event uh, then keep watching these vlogs and follow me on social media all the links are down below um because i'll be posting the details about my first one very very shortly my first event for november is uh, a blogger's afternoon tea and yeah i'm really really excited it's going to be a big job a big job but i think it's right up my street and i think i'm going to ace it fingers crossed so um yeah it's a it's a huge huge news really yeah it's it's a it's a big new role that I'm taking on alongside um, my blog and it's just everything that we've been sort of looking for over the past few months um, and I'm really excited. So yeah, I'm going to throw myself into that and hopefully that will uh, help take my mind off things. 
but I will tell you guys about all the events as soon as I've confirmed things. November we'll have one event, but then in December we're going to crack off with the two. Um, yeah, and it'll be nice to meet some of you as well. It's going to be amazing. So stay tuned and I'll tell you all about those events and you can come along and join. How did you get so big? <laughs> How did you get so big? <laughs> I've got so much work to do still and not a lot of motivation so I just have to force myself into it when I just want to sit here and eat Ben and Jerry's and mope um, but we're going to crack on. Um, I'm going for a dog walk with Lucy later so that'll be nice get me out of the house and it's good for Toby because they're group walks so he gets to see lots of other doggies. Um, yeah it's a nice way to spend a lunch break really because it just gets you outside and then kind of feel like I come back a little bit more ready to crack on. I don't know I need to wash my hair at some point. Look at that. <laughs> That's what bobble hats are for. Hello Lola. <laughs> Staring at these treats. You can't have these treats. You have to have special ones. You can't. <laughs> Lucy, what's in your bum bag? <laughs> Is it full of dog poo? Maybe. Because there's no bins. <laughs> Go and shake near Lucy. <laughs> Oh, it's so pretty here. You're definitely going to be seeing some outfit shots here, guys. Now I've discovered this place. Are you swimming? You nearly swam then. It's cold. I know. Well, it's gone. I don't know if I've got a hole in my boots because my foot is really cold. <laughs> I put lipstick on today for the first time in... I genuinely don't know how long. Um, just because I thought it might cheer me up a bit. It is the uh, Gwen Stefani rock star or something like that it's the gwen stefani forever decay range i really like the the color that they give they're not like completely matte but they're not super shiny i like it and my new hat from uh, my new bobble hat from primark this is from soul cal but like five years ago and my john smedley jumper and i'm super super cozy although it's getting really really cold now so i need a big like proper puffy winter jacket for dog walks I think and I have a hole in my jewels wellies which I'm really upset about because they're not cheap so I can't really afford to replace them and I just love them so much they've got little dogs on but now it's got a hole in so boo oh dear <laughs> oh dear soggy puppy using your nice products i absolutely love these um jp pet products they're incredible i keep banging on about them but they just smell so good the oatmeal one smells like cherry bakewell oh you like having a bath don't you should we get the uh should we get the hair dryer and have a snuggle up stay warm come on now <laughs> I genuinely love this doggo to pieces. He will literally just <laughs> squeeze himself into any spot he can so he's next to you. <laughs> it's so cute. You're a little bit soggy still because you were being a bit of a wimp with the hair dryer. I'm gonna stay warm with mummy. <laughs> Bless him. So it is about half past five. I've just been to Tesco <laughs> and spent 11 pounds on drunk food because I had a spare 11 pound at the end of the month and I just thought I could put that in my savings or I could eat my feelings. So I've decided to eat my feelings. We're talking cookies, Pringles, ready meal macaroni cheese, which is my go-to when I'm feeling miserable, uh, chocolate and puddings. <laughs> I'm not gonna eat it all tonight, but uh, I just went around and I just thought, you know what, I'm just gonna have whatever I fancy. And a lot of those things I don't normally buy, so yeah. If I'm sad, I may as well be fat and sad doesn't really make a difference <laughs> watching Nigella's new cooking program and I've literally had to google about three words that she that she's used it, she's uh she makes me a bit uncomfortable I kind of spent like the whole episode like this she's got a chili shelf in her larder enough said <laughs> 
very excited to read this. This is called The Guilty Wife and it is a book that's being published. It's not out yet. This is a proof copy that I've been sent, which is also very exciting, um, by an awesome vlogger, one of the girls that I went to Lithuania with earlier on this year, Elle Croft, and she's been published. And it's just, it's, it's just absolutely incredible. I'm so proud of her. She's so, so lovely. Um, and she sent me her book to read before it comes out. So actually, I'm really, really excited for this because I was thinking the other day, I need to crack on with the book um, and just sort of take my mind off things. So there we go. I'm going to be reading The Guilty Wife. I'll let you know how I get on. But well done, Elle. You're absolutely bloody awesome. What a great achievement this is. Hey everyone, happy Tuesday. Uh, I was supposed to be meeting a friend for uh, a cup of tea and cake today, but she's had to cancel, so I'm a little bit good about that. Um, <laughs> Lisa's got me up and dressed, hair washed and with a bit of slap on, but I am about to swap my skinny jeans for a pair of uh, leggings for the day. Because <laughs> I'm not going to sit around in skinny jeans, who does that? Um, but I am seeing my friend Sarah later for a drink. Uh, first time seeing her since she became a missus, so that's very exciting. Bought her a little present, actually. Yeah, because they're going on their honeymoon to Australia in January, I think. So I bought them little Mr. and Mrs. luggage tags. They're from Sass and Bell, um, and I really like them, so hopefully they'll like them. It's, it's difficult when people live together already, because like, what do you buy them? Because you can't buy them a toaster, because they've already got everything. <laughs> and they don't really drink that much, so champagne probably wouldn't go down that well. Uh, yeah, so I thought that was a nice little gift. Hopefully she'll like it. Toby is driving me mad today actually mad he cannot be left alone for like five seconds without barking howling he keeps going to the back door he's like scrabbling around in one of the um drains outside even though i've got like a drain cover on it to stop him to like drinking the water but he's like obsessed with whatever is in there it must smell of something and he's just an absolute <laughs> I can't get anything done like I literally can't get anything done he's constantly ringing these little doorbells or if I shut him in here he's scratching the door he scratched paint off my kitchen door because he scrambles to get out when I try and leave him on his own for a little bit it's actually driving me to, to distraction it's, it's driving me mad I don't know what to do I can deal with the barking it's just I don't want to piss my neighbours off like if it was up to me I would just leave him to bark and howl until he finally realises that it's not getting anywhere but I don't want to piss the neighbours off. And if he starts scratching holes through my door, then I'm actually buggered. It's like half past three. I really haven't got as much done as I should have done because I've been dealing with him all day. I'm going to have to just go out and take him out for a little walk. Try and burn off a bit of energy with him. And then uh, come back and hopefully he'll just pass out for a bit. I don't know what's gotten into him. He's never like this. Yeah, he's a bundle of energy, but he's never like this. He's like, he's on something today. What are you... <sighs> right, we're going out. We're going for a walk. We're going to take the ball launcher and we're going to run you ragged for a little bit. <sighs> Get a puppy, they said. It'll be fun, they said. Well and truly hit your teenage years, mister. Ah, that was a nice little run around. Hopefully that will tire him out a little bit. My friend uh, Tracy is actually coming around for a cup of tea. Um, so I need to do my washing up because otherwise she'll think I'm a pig. <laughs> and uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. I've, just, I've got so much to do. I'm really annoyed that I haven't had as much to do today. But I was just speaking to Lucy. And um, she thinks that he's hitting his terrible teenage years. Which means all the training pretty much goes out the window. <laughs> doesn't listen to a word you say um so what i think i'm going to do is i'm going to get that play pen that i had from um pets at home that was in the living room and i'm going to put it in the kitchen and keep him in that with his bed and his water um when i need a bit of a break because otherwise he's going to scratch this door to pieces and it's going to end up costing me a fortune which i probably already will have to replace by the looks of it but there we go you're a bit of an asshole today aren't you hmm Right, I am off to go and see Sarah. My hair is just like <sighs> puffed up. It must be humid outside or maybe I didn't properly dry it, but I haven't got time to play with it, so I'm just gonna have to go looking like a scruff. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go and see Sarah, go to the pub, have a glass of wine with her, congratulate her on being a missus, give her a prezzies and then come back. So yeah, it's quite nice to get out of the house and it was lovely to see Tracy earlier. Winning at life today, <laughs> apart from I really haven't done as much work as I needed to, so I might crack on with some of that when I get back it won't be too late good morning everybody happy wednesday my sore throat is back again all on one side there's definitely something not right but 
it's not getting any worse so <laughs> fingers crossed it's not tonsillitis we'll be fine um so today i'm off to london for an event with air canada which is very exciting i'm gonna open these curtains blind um yeah i'm going down to london for them because they've got a pop-up shop in shoreditch where you can try putin and i have always wanted to try it putin is the like the chips and cheesy gravy and stuff oh god i look awful today i don't know why i actually feel quite okay this morning Ugh. um just my ugly face um <clears throat> yeah but you can go down and you can try putin and they've got a lounge where you can have drinks and stuff and you can also win um flights to Canada and whatnot so um, I'm going down to test that out for them which is very exciting I'll give you all the details later and leave it in the info down below if you want to join in or head down yourself um but I'm meeting Lauren down there so I'm going a little bit earlier we're gonna have lunch together and then she's coming to the event with me which will be nice because I haven't seen it in ages and yeah that's pretty much my day long train journey so charged up my notebook my little mini laptop so I can crack on with some work on the train journey because I'm still so behind. And uh, yeah. So I'm on my way to London. There's loads of people around. I'm on my way to London. Got my new snazzy outfit on from Primark. I'll show you later. Um, and I just feel really good. I'm gonna put it out there. I don't care if anybody unsubscribes because they think I'm being big headed. This is the first time in such a long time that I've looked in the mirror and I thought, do you know what? You'll do. And I feel really great today. So I'm just excited for the event excited to see Lauren and just excited to be out doing stuff and feeling okay. <laughs> Look who's here everybody, she's not dead but she is now a lesbian, it's Lady <laughs> Lauren! How are you? No, I'm, I'm, I'm died. She's got purple hair that's now turned pink and brown after one wash! Boo you L'Oreal. Uh, so we're gonna go find Pizza Express and eat pizza and drink wine. <laughs> mm. Lauren's got a vegan pizza. It's actually quite nice, the vegan pizza. It's, it's pretty good. And I've got pork and lots of meat stuff. <laughs> <laughs> There's two guys taking outfit photos in the middle of a main road. Are they mad? <laughs> <laughs> They've already seen me stare. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny because we've just been taking outfit photos, but we chose like a quiet street uh, with lots of cool graffiti, and they're li literally in the in a main road. <laughs> Someone's gonna die, but their photos do look better than ours. No, they don't. Right, so we're off to our event with Air Canada, and we're gonna try some poutine. And of course, when I heard that I was gonna be here eating chips, I thought, who is gonna want to eat? chips and gravy with me definitely Lauren so uh, yeah I've got to go and uh, go and meet the PR and try some poutine from all over the world really loud anyway so um, yeah it's in Shoreditch busy. it is busy should have gone in there pop-up shop and it's in Shoreditch um, I'll leave all the details oh, down below yeah so it's here until the 11th of November and you can come down and try poutine in different uh, forms from all over the world and you can also win a flight to Canada I think there's two return flights from Canada every day that you can win you just have to buy poutine and take a selfie and put it on uh, the internet but I'll leave all the information down below for you and uh, you can come down and give it a go but I'm excited I'm actually excited there's a bouncer he knows I'm coming <laughs> <laughs> hide the chips losing like Lauren's here <laughs> but Lauren you can only try it if you put in the effort and take your photo. So after about eight hours of taking pictures of this, My arm you're letting me eat it. My arm's actually hurt from holding it out. Yeah, go on. Well, we can share. That's duck and chips. You would like it. <laughs> It's nice, right? Yeah, it's amazing. What's this one? What have I got? So this is peanut chipotle butter, hamburger gravy, craft cheese and pickled gherkin. Oh my god. Yes. Yeah, we like this Seattle one. I think that's our favourite so far. A vegan burger. <laughs> it's a 
a vegan burger because it's just got a gherkin in it. <laughs> but the prices are actually really good and everything that they make from this event, so from the drinks and from the poutine, um, goes to Great Ormond Street Hospital. More food! <laughs> yeah, I love a cheesy one. Thank you very much. Thank you. Welcome. I thought it was potato. I thought it was, oh, I've just brushed my hair with a fork. I like Ariel, except very cheesy now. <laughs> Greasy. <laughs> Greasy Ariel. <Yeah. laughs> oh, we should go on the simulator and go on like a, a flight to Canada. Oh, except not, because we're here in London. We said stimulator then. Ooh. I think this is a really nice event, and they have frozen margaritas, which are actually pretty darn good. And it's a really cool little place, so definitely come and check it out. Oh, there's gravy at the bottom there. <laughs> There's people taking pictures of us all the time and I'm pretty sure they get pictures every time it falls out of our mouths because we can't eat properly. Just like a bib. <laughs> Do you think we've got enough Putin? Nope. And they've taken away like three or four. <laughs> Miami with avocado chicken, yes. It's got a halloumi in as well, I think. Uh, cheese. <laughs> Uh, cheese. <laughs> Morning everybody, happy Thursday. So I didn't round off last night. We, uh, we were having such a good time and then I realised, oh, I've got to go and get my train. So we had to like leg it to the train station. Oh, it was so much fun. What an amazing event. I will leave all the information down below. Anybody can go to it. It opens on Friday, so it'll be open by the time this goes live. And it's on until the 11th of November. And it's just, it's just brilliant. I am a Putin convert, by the way, so I definitely need to go to Canada now, even if not, just to eat all the Putin in the world. Um, Putin. Uh, yeah, it was just, it was just bloody brilliant. I loved it. And it's just such a great idea that it all goes to, like, charity and stuff. So, yeah, if you're in London, near Shoreditch, um, head on down and go and have a drink and something to eat with your friends. Try something new. And it all goes to charity. Also, I got sent this amazing case. I got sent a few actually, but this is my favourite from lovecases.com. I'll leave the information down below as well. Um, but I think they're brand new and uh, they were like, oh, do you want a new phone case? And I realised that I have had that glittery phone case on my bloody phone for about two years, <laughs> maybe even longer. So I was like, yes, it needs a shake up. And now my phone is officially very bloggery. It's like rose gold and marble love but yeah really nice they sent a few over actually so um a few glittery ones and whatnot but this is my phone case of choice so yeah if you're wondering where this is from if you've seen it in the vlog love cases and i do love it a lot oh find it don't grind it that was lovely seeing mum and dad and uh, they love seeing toby as well and dad cleaned my garden for me oh my goodness like he literally did scrub the whole thing down because it was starting to smell because obviously that's where Toby goes for a wee all the time and yeah it just it look, it's like a brand new garden it's unbelievable so goodness knows what I would do without my parents so we're off to the vets because uh, Toby's got a little rash on his belly I think it's in Patigo which is not serious at all um, but he just got it the other day after we were running through the forest did I tell you this? I can't remember if I told you this um, yeah it looks quite red and sore so the vet said well let's bring him in see what happens so uh, yeah we're going to go in and see if we need to get any topical creams for that or anything and just to triple check that it isn't anything serious he probably just ran and rubbed up against some poison ivy or something I don't know and his little bare belly. I look rough as old boots today. But I actually feel pretty good, so just rolling with it. Have you trumped? Poo puppy! That's stinky. His new food is amazing, that tail stuff. Um, it's so good. Like his trumps were terrible before, like deadly. Um, but then ever since he went on that, he really hasn't had a problem. So yeah, I'm very, very impressed. And he absolutely loves it. He like wolfs it down. So uh, yeah, I noticed a few of you guys have signed up for it as well. Because uh, I've had little emails through to say that you use my code. So thank you very much for that. Hope you like it and your dogs like it as much as Toby does. I just think it's a brilliant service because it just drops through your door every month and you're all done. And I'm pretty sure that one bag is going to last more than a month and then you can delay your deliveries. So I think they send you um, an email to say, oh, we're going to be sending out your new bag. And then you go, oh, well, leave it another week or we've still got loads left. Or yes, quick, send it now because we're nearly running out. So yeah, I'm impressed, really impressed. That wasn't too bad. He's got some steroid cream and uh, we've got to rub in twice a day. 
onto his little belly. <laughs> so uh, yeah, that wasn't too bad. The, the doctor, the doctors, the vets are so nice there. Even though you can, you can tell that he's starting to be a bit wary about going, because every time they go, he jabs him with something, but at least today they didn't. And he got a big treat, so. You yeah, okay about a vest, right? <laughs> Don't think he's traumatized, but we're fine. Right, I'm gonna crack on with some work, and uh, yeah, that's about it. Right, so I am heading out for a couple of drinks this evening, which I'm excited for, going to a new artisan cafe nearby that um, apparently everyone's raving about. Get your head out of my handbag. Uh, so yeah, just uh, I'm excited actually. Uh, this is my new shirt from Prime Arnie. I don't know if I showed you last time. And then just in mid wash jeans, and I'm gonna put these Chelsea boots on, which are also from Primark. I like them. They were from like last year though, so soz. Um, yeah, so yeah, I'm probably not gonna film. Um, so I guess I will catch up with you guys in the morning. I was about to say have a good evening then, but that's a bit pointless because, well, technically it'll be Tuesday evening. Have a good Tuesday evening, future viewers. Good morning, everybody. I feel full of cold. Oh my goodness, I feel horrendous. My throat's still so bad, and I now just feel like a bit bunged up as well, so that's great. Happy Friday, though. About to try a new tea. Picked it up the other day, Taylor's of Harrogate Rose Lemonade. So, um, yeah, smells interesting. It smelled really rosy at first, and now it smells a bit lemonade. -y. Let's try it. Probably gonna burn my face off. Oh, that's really nice. They're expensive, but they're on offer in Sainsbury's, so I thought, yeah, I'm gonna get one just because I wanted like a more of a fruity tea. Anyway, uh, that's my update for the day. So today I am going on a group walk with Lucy um, about midday, but around that I've got poo loads of work to do. I've got a little video to film uh, for Instagram and then I need to crack on with the um, Bangkok photos. I still am halfway through editing those. They're like, I've took so many photos. That's the problem with like long trips when it's like uh, 10 days or two weeks and stuff. You just take so many photos and it just takes so long to sort through so yeah i need to crack on with those uh, and i'm seeing lucy tonight from movie nights so that should be nice but uh yeah really got to crack on so see you in a bit also bumble sent through a load of merchandise that we can give away at the events which is really cool and one of them is this really nice jumper like it's proper thick and it just looks amazing like proper like little old school sort of um american sports jersey i really like it and like notebook like um computer covers and all sorts it's great so yeah 100% come along to my events because they're gonna be amazing you're gonna get loads of free stuff you're funny come here come here he was just like stretching out <laughs> doing dog yoga doga come here doga <laughs> oh i've saved you a little bit of ham on toast you want it Gently, good boy. They're nice. They're nice. No more. Yes, you're very cute. <laughs> you're very good. Very good boy. <laughs> There's no more, you can put your little foot down. <laughs> I know what I was going to show you guys. I was going to show you my tattoo. I kind of, um, all right, Martin, shouting. Let's just pause you. Um, I already showed everyone on Instagram. I put up a picture the other week and you guys loved it. So um, for those of you who don't have Instagram, I thought I'd show you now. Um, I'm trying not to flash you my boob because that's um, a bit worrying. Uh, but yeah, oh, hang on. Can you even see it? Yay, there it is. Teeny tiny, so it's a teeny tiny white tattoo of a lotus flower, and I absolutely love it. It's just, yeah, as you can see, you can barely even see it, and that's kind of probably makes sense when I was like, I don't really like tattoos, I've just got a tattoo, but you can't really see it. Um, and I just like it because it's there, so it's for me. It'll even be covered up by a bikini for us to go on holiday, and yeah, it's just it's really personal and really pretty and I just I absolutely love it it's healed perfectly um yeah really pleased with it so hope you like it well I don't know I it's for me so if you don't like it you don't like it um but if you don't like it just 
zip it please because <laughs> we don't need any negativity around here do we uh they're not for everybody understand that but yeah there you go there is my tattoo finally revealed i hope you guys like it I'm so excited to get out of this house. <laughs> also, uh, Bubbles went through loads of merchandise and they sent me a lanyard for my little whistle, which is really, really handy. So literally saying to Lucy the other day, I need a lanyard or something to like put my whistle on because Toby's completely trained on it now. Um, so yeah, now I look like a proper dog walker with that round my neck. Got my little bobble hat on from Prime Arnie. Yes, yeah, so are you excited? She's on her way. <laughs> Oh my god, why do I look like I've been dragged through a hedge backwards every single day this week? <laughs> right, we're off to Lucy's now for moving out. I've got my Bumble um, jumper on. Do you like it? I really like it. It kind of reminds me of like a uh, American kind of like sport knitted jersey thing. I really like it. I'm like rocking. I'm literally rocking the, uh, the branded merch, but just because I really like the jumper. <laughs> so Lucy is my very first local bee recruit. You're going to be helping me advertise all the events. It's all going to be wrong. <laughs> and you'll be at some of the events so people can meet you. Oh yeah, I'm sure that's They all want to meet you. Comment down below if you want to meet Lucy. That's my wine. And I spat in it. I didn't really. <laughs> Come here, puppet. On the way here, Toby went to go and say hello to this Jack Russell and the lady um, was like, yeah, yeah, so let's all say hello. Hello, Atta. Thank you very much for licking my hand. And um, the Jack Russell went for Toby and he's bitten his nose. Come here. I didn't realise at the time because it was dark. He's like, see? I don't care, just give me the food. He's like, I can see this food. Look, she's, he's bitten his nose. Oh, it's not focusing. Look there, he's taking a big chunk out of his nose. That's all right, chicks dig scars. I hope you're going to still be beautiful. <laughs> uh, the first concern is not for the welfare of the dog, it's for how Instagrammable he is. He's absolutely fine, but yeah, I'm quite annoyed. I didn't realise at the time because it was dark, but yeah. Nasty jaw whistle. He doesn't care. He just wants food. <laughs> Otto will bite you. We will. I would bite you if you tried to take my food. <laughs> Look at him. He's like, I'm sitting down and being really good. <laughs> hey team, happy Saturday. I'm supposed to be in Birmingham right now, drinking wine with my lovely friend Lizzie. Um, and then going for a hair consultation at the Bad Apple Salon for a hair transformation which I'm really looking forward to. Um, but I feel absolutely dreadful. I've woken up feeling like I've got the bloody flu. I feel so fluy, achy, like I've been hit by a bloody bus. My throat feels like it's grown about five inches. I really hope I haven't got tonsillitis. I might have to use Push Doctor. <laughs> Let's tell you about that app. Really good app. Um, I might have to use them again and talk to the doctor. Um, but yeah, I, just feel, I feel awful. So I've just been in bed most of the morning. Toby's been very good. He's just been cuddling with me in bed, which is really nice because sometimes he gets a bit hyper in the mornings but I think he's realised that mummy's not very well um yeah so I've just been in bed and I just I feel rotten so yeah so for day to day I think which I'm gutted about I'm just so excited to go to Birmingham and have day drinks and be super fancy but uh never mind there will be other days to do this and hopefully we can rearrange the hair consultation as well so yeah, I think it's a Netflix marathon for me and lots of cups of tea. <laughs> Did have a lovely night with Lucy last night though. She was so cute. Um, I bought her a little present to say thank you so much for being such an awesome friend. Um, and she loved it. it I, I'd try and explain what it is, but it's such an in-joke. Like, you just wouldn't get it, but she loved it. Uh, and we watched, what did we watch? <laughs> Oh, what did, oh, we watched Jared's Game, which is that like new Stephen King film based on the book. Um, and it was quite good. She's converting me slowly but surely to horror films, <laughs> but only certain types of horror films. Um, yeah, and then we gave up on the whole rom-com thing and just watched Shaun of the Dead because <laughs> it was easy. And we were chatting through the films anyway, so there was pretty much no point trying to watch a new one because, yeah, it just wouldn't have happened. Good morning everybody, happy Sunday. I'm uh, feeling a lot better today actually. I think it did me good just sort of staying in yesterday and not going out, even though I'm kind of gutted that I didn't go out. Uh, so yeah, I'm off to the castle. I'm gonna go and take Doggo for a little walk, get outside. It's nice, it's very, very cold, but like bright blue sky. So 
So I'm gonna go out there and he's uh, he's getting a bit restless because he didn't really have a proper walk yesterday. But yeah, apart from that, probably just doing a bit of work. Lucy and I were gonna go and watch some fireworks later, but I don't think standing in the cold is gonna do me any favors, so probably not. Um, yeah, it's about it. A bit of a boring end to the week, really. But um, hope you enjoyed the vlog and that we're back on we're back on telly. We are officially back, so it's fine. Hey team, uh, you off. <laughs> Hey team, uh, sorry I haven't really been chatty today. Uh, it's been a bit of a quiet one. I've got my camera when I went to take him for a walk so you didn't get to see that, but it was just him pelting through the leaves getting very muddy so we had to go in the bath. <laughs> um, so I'm just making myself some crackers, little midnight snack, because I'm actually really hungry. Pate and ham, rock and roll. My car was making the weirdest noise earlier when I drove to um, the castle and now I'm just a little bit worried. I think I'm gonna have to take it into um, a garage tomorrow which I'm not looking forward to because that always spells a lot of money doesn't it it's just so it's just so rickety my car it's like an actual death trap I think it's like 15 years old yeah not good so um yeah I'll be booking in there tomorrow wish me luck for that but I think I'm gonna leave the vlog here so um yeah thank you very much for watching this week guys I'm sure it's been a bit of a weird one to watch um I'm feeling okay I'm just a bit sad if I'm honest just really sad and yeah I still need to sort of um meet and swap keys and stuff um I think he might be coming over to do that tomorrow so yeah it'll be the first time I've sort of seen him since he said that was it so that will be strange it's like I'm weirdly looking forward to it just because I've missed him but then I realize what he's coming over for and I'm like oh <laughs> yeah no no but you know, he's a good guy. Just didn't work out this time, unfortunately. So yeah. So yeah, kindness in the comments is much appreciated. No bad, bad mouthing. Um, and yeah, let's just onwards and upwards with um, X Emilio X and X Toby X. He wants some crackers. He's just hanging around for a bit of ham. <laughs> Thanks for watching guys. I'll see you later. Bye. Somebody's ignoring me. <laughs> I'm eating her.